this project it's a quite a large project. The government here and the Abu Dhabi municipality, they are trying to increase the capacity of the existing project from more than 60 million passengers per year. The overall surface of this project, which actually consists out of 14 levels together with the basements, so it's the overall surface of the project is 700,000 square meters. We have about 49 gatehouses with about 120 positions for aeroplanes to go next to the gatehouses. We are about to finish this project, I believe, with a very successful way. We are in the Ziggurat Student Week Abu Dhabi 2019, where uh, we are with our students of the Masters in Global Beam Management for Infrastructure Projects in partnership with Consolidated Contractor Company. And um, this Student Week is a one week module of the Master, which is optional, where we bring students from all over the world. In this case, we are 13 students from many different countries such as Canada, Brazil, uh, Spain, Poland, Qatar. So well, we, we are here, uh, people from all over the world, learning how uh, companies, and especially CCC, are implementing BIM in one of the most complex uh, projects in the world nowadays. This uh, construction project uh, is being developed by a joint venture between three contractor companies, Arad Tech, TAP, and consolidated contractor companies, and uh, different engineers from uh, here, from the site, are giving lessons directly to our students, explaining all different specializations, how are being implemented in, in this project. So during all over the week, we are uh, seeing and discovering uh, all the experiences these companies they had and uh, students also uh, have the uh, opportunity to uh, know each other because uh, this is an online uh, master program so it's a great opportunity to know in first person all your international students uh, some of the lecturers also uh, zero representatives so it's a great opportunity to be here with uh, all of us In CCC, we are applying BIM for the last 20 years. Uh, so we have acquired a very valuable knowledge in the workflows, in the processes, and the IT tools that uh, we would like to transfer this knowledge to the students of this master. In our master, what we are targeting is uh, to introduce to our students the inside of a construction company on how we can implement successfully BIM in big scale complex projects. So our sessions are uh, introducing workflows uh, that meet uh, the requirements of the construction industry. We have the path of buildings, highways and roads, tunneling bridges, the surface utilities and railways. We offer these five specializations because we want to cover uh, all the construction industry aspects and we want to deliver to the students full packets of knowledge uh, of all the projects that they are going to meet in the construction.
for me BIM is like it's new because I am a thoroughly construction guy. The interest it just erupts from within when I came to know that what we are going to construct can we just uh, check it prior to the construction and see if it is done prior to it. The model what we can construct we can have it in our eyes. So it was a, like a clear idea as to how this industry gonna help us. I chose to study uh, global infrastructure BIM management because Canada isn't exactly regulating BIM however it is coming into industry and I've seen it come into industry rapidly in the UK and now it's taking over in Europe so I want to be prepared and open a lot of more opportunities when it comes to careers. At early stages um, there are some companies that uh, they are more advanced but some of them are less and trying to catch up but in general in the future it will be more and more asked from uh, clients and uh, so companies will be forced to implement uh, BRIM projects. Actually the BIM it's uh, not implemented in everywhere. It uh, implemented very well in uh, Dubai, a uh, little bit in Saudi Arabia. In Kazakhstan I didn't see any BIM. Actually I didn't have any experience with BIM, my work as a site civil engineer. I think that BIM it will be uh, wider in the Middle East. It has a good trend in the future. BIM is new for, uh, for, for a lot of countries. And in Egypt, they are implementing them, but not all of the companies implement them. Uh, in UAE, it's mandatory for some clients, for government clients, like RTA, DEP, Abu Dhabi Airport. And it's mandated by certain companies as well. So in our company, we are mandating them for all projects. Uh, without uh, needing the client permission or the client approval for them, we implement them. So we've been implementing some of the 3D scanning to make facade diagnosis in order to identify the effects around the high-rise buildings and everything. And these two uh, can bring in as many benefits, like instead of access with ropes and high-risk equipment, you can easily fly through the, um, the building with a drone and mapping all the issues, developing being, uh, being models based on those informations. And this is something I consider very potential for the sector we've been working for. In my company, uh, in our other department, uh, we are achieving uh, being using in some uh, small projects. In Brazil, we are having uh, laws that are regulating these infrastructure benefits uh, using the methodology of being by the planning minister, uh, I think two years ago. And uh, the market of construction are getting bigger, so it uh, has a big potential in this area. Why we recommend this program for the professionals in the construction and engineering industry? Uh, this program is focusing for the BIM process for the construction management and the project controls of uh, very large uh, projects. This unique uh, knowledge can be obtained by uh, some experts from this industry who have uh, a lot of experience in many of uh, the mega projects with consolidated contractors, international company and as well as uh, a lot of information about the software and the new technologies around the world in this sector. During the Abu Dhabi Student Week, the students have the opportunity to see a big scale project like the Midfield Terminal Airport of Abu Dhabi. So we have to come back after the new term. Yeah, but you, when you come back. You need... 
we had uh, the opportunity to meet from close the students uh, of our master and transfer again our knowledge from the BIM implementation in this project. They had the chance to talk with the BIM engineers of the project and they had also the chance to see real-time implementation of BIM in a big-scale project. It was and remain a very difficult project with many technical issues, mainly because of the architectural surface uh, shape of the roof and overall of the building. One of the requirements of the client to the architectural design team was to have uh, an approach of the architectural uh, elevation of the building similar to the dunes that they have in the desert. I joined this project in 2012 and uh, one of the major tasks that I was involved is general coordination of all subcontractors. So with my team here, uh, we try to have the subcontractors ready to submit LOD 400 models and LOD 500 models on time uh, either for the extraction or support uh, shop drawings or the extraction and support of the as-built drawings. Currently, in the last uh, one year, almost, we have started the handover period where we are collecting the as-built uh, uh, models with all the related data, uh, the assets. For example, we have to come to a specific number of more than 100,000 of assets and uh, it's a very critical period. We have to communicate the comments by the client to the subcontractors in order at the end of the day all of us to succeed to have a federated model, combined model for all the areas of the project. Uh, free of classes according to the as built drawings, according to the as built uh, site status and with the whole agreed uh, data information there. Tag information, member mark, whatever is related to member mark and the specs, specification for each object. Side views, I must say that this is impressive, as I mentioned, when you look through the 3D perspectives and the reality on site, when you walk through, you feel this is incredible, the scale of the project is something you can look through the photos and get close to, it's, it's very impressive. Very huge, very impressive, uh, very complicated. The facade, the structural system, the mechanical system, baggage handling system. I have a lot to learn from 
all of them. Specifically, this is a multi-discipline projects and now the engineering applied to it, it's very specific for each time. So it's very available. The student week that we are having in Abu Dhabi airport uh, is a scope uh, for an online uh, of an unnear master degree. This online uh, don't uh, have the experience of uh, this integrated uh, student week that you personally we could meet, meet the colleagues and the structures and this is valuable to avoid this uh, distance, this far from the relationship with the technology and it's very good to see uh, the master's coordinators and the institution coordinators to improve my knowledge. I really enjoyed seeing use cases of how CCC integrated BIM into absolutely every phase of construction and it was very interesting to see because it wasn't just theoretical, it was more hands-on and you were able to apply your knowledge learned into different assignments and projects. We were around like 40 students and from five continents I guess so and we were from different cultures, different backgrounds all having professional expertise in their domain, some from the bridges, some from the so dams, some from the roads. So all in whole, it seems like uh, we are just grasping each other's knowledge and just transferring to each other. And the way some are far more experienced from 20 plus and all, and still they are looking for this master's. Esta visita, la verdad que es muy interesante. Hemos estado con grandes profesionales que nos han dado charlas y, y presentaciones muy, muy valiosas para, para tener más información, saber cómo es un proyecto real y, y que la verdad complementa mucho la, los estudios que hemos realizado previamente. I think the student week was uh, a very good event. It was at the beginning of the program, so it brought us together with uh, professors and instructors, also with the students. So it uh, gives some kind of, uh, uh, let's say, friendliness uh, between the people that uh, they're participating in the master and breaks the wall of online education. Coming here to, uh, to the International Week and getting a glimpse of the activities that we had here since two days, it's like an amazing experience. What we visualize during our masters and checking the reality, it's totally distance apart. The models that we create, we visualize at the site, it's amazing. The way you detail each thing and see with your live eyes, uh, it's one of the amazing kinds that I have seen so far uh, coming into the closeness with the beam industry. Yeah, I have learned a lot, especially from the perspective of contractor. This is very important because this is a, an actual implementation of BIM in construction and for facility management as well. So I have learned a lot in this uh, week. Uh, I have learned the project controls, uh, variations, uh, change management, uh, a lot of things. There is something in this masters that's gonna help us to attain something. So I think best of luck for all the teams who are gonna come in and join the GPCAV program for the Ziggurat. We see many uh, many information that, that uh, it will be helpful for us for to implement in projects to guide the project for successful. So I see uh, BIM, uh, it's amazing and it's a good uh, a good chance a good. Uh, a uh, good uh, choose to, to take it.
Already actually at my company we're implementing at the moment uh, the BIM strategy so we will try to implement this more often in our projects so I can see that in the future uh, you can lead teams uh, about uh, BIM projects. Con este máster creo que puedo aspirar a una posición de BIM Manager o BIM Coordinator y creo que me puede servir en el futuro para, para desarrollar mi, mi carrera profesional en este aspecto. I would like to be a manager in construction. They are big market in Brazil. They have a great infrastructure projects that are demanding by the population and I would like to serve this population. I want to be able to develop my career in a way that um, would allow us to use this knowledge and apply it in anywhere from the bidding phases to construction and final handovers. Actually, I want to thank Zikurat to arrange for this uh, program. Thank CCC also. This unique opportunity may be not be happen again unless we may hopefully have another project in the same sector. The BIM technology will be the leader, the leader technology in uh, in construction in the future.